In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate how to create custom journals, manually enter journal transactions, post transactions, and edit journal entries in Drake Accounting. Before any transactions can be entered, a chart of accounts must be created. Please refer to the chart of accounts video tutorial if you need assistance. First, to set up accounting options for a client, select the client from the client selector screen, then go to accounting options. When the detailed description option is selected, descriptions for automatically generated transactions are more detailed. For instance, for a payroll entry, instead of the description being checking account, the same entry's description would be gross pay. For the offset mode option, select either keep grouped offset to group multiple journal transactions with a single offsetting entry or split offsets to create one offset entry for every transaction entered. Drake Accounting has six default journals which cannot be deleted. To add a journal, click the add button or enter a journal type code as well as a journal type description. A customized journal can be deleted by selecting the journal and clicking the delete button. However, if there are any transactions written to that journal, it cannot be deleted. Finally, select the posting method type. When normal is selected, all transactions are entered on the unposted screen and the post process must be run to write the transactions to the chart of accounts. When live posting is selected, Transactions are entered on the live transaction screen and are automatically written to the chart of accounts when saved, eliminating the post process. For this tutorial, let's select normal so that we can follow the post process. Click save. To view, edit, or enter unposted transactions, expand the accounting module, then open transactions and select unposted. A list of all unposted transactions is displayed. Filter the transactions displayed by selecting a journal type from the drop list. To drill down even more, select an account number to be displayed from the drop list and only those transactions associated with that account are displayed. In the status of months on the right, months which have transactions and are in balance are listed in green. Out of balance months are listed in red. Select a specific month to view those transactions. Status of years displays up to three years of journal entries. Show new transactions displays only newly entered transactions on the screen. Once you click save or exit, the transactions are no longer considered new. At the bottom right of the screen, Drake Accounting displays the totals for the displayed debits and credits as well as their respective balance. There are two options on the screen for entering transactions. The first is to manually add transactions row by row. Click the Add button. Choose the journal from the drop list. The date defaults to today's date, but it can be changed if needed. The entity code is optional. Either type the account number or select the account from the drop list. Enter the amount for the debit or credit, but not both. The reference and division fields are optional as well. Complete the information for the offsetting entry. To delete a journal entry, select the checkbox to the left of the entry and then click the delete button or press delete on your keyboard. The second option is to create a single offset entry to offset multiple transactions. To enable this feature, select start offset mode. Depending on the selections made under accounting options, either multiple journal transactions are grouped with a single offset or one offset entry is created for every transaction entered. In the top row, select the date and offsetting account from the drop list. Below the black line, enter the transactions. The offsetting amount is the running total of all the transactions that are entered. Click Add to add a new transaction or tab through the fields. Once all transactions have been entered and reviewed, click Save. Click Start Offset Mode to return to the journal screen. Before posting the current transactions to the chart of accounts, review the unposted transactions to ensure they are in balance and have valid account numbers. Click Post. Drake Accounting alerts you that the posting transaction saves all transactions and asks you if you are sure. Click Yes. On the Select Posting Dates screen, 
either choose a start and end date or choose a specific month from the post monthly section, post all entered transactions, or post prior year transactions. Running interim reports prior to posting is not required, but is a good idea. Clicking the interim reports button runs several reports prior to posting transactions. Those reports are the balance sheet, profit and loss, trial balance worksheet start of year, and profit and loss activity reports. To post the transactions, click post. A message is displayed alerting you that you are about to post transactions to the general journal for the selected period of time and that the date of the report will be. Click yes. If you need to review or edit posted transactions, go to accounting, transactions, posted. This screen looks very similar to the unposted transaction screen and functions in much the same way with the exception that you cannot add transactions to the posted transaction screen. If posted transactions need to be adjusted, click in the field and make the edits. Please note that you will also have to edit the offsetting transactions so that you stay in balance. To delete a transaction, select it and click delete. Click confirm edits to save the changes. A message displays advising you that editing and saving previously posted transactions will update the current chart of accounts and ask if you would like to continue. Click yes. To review edits that have been made and by whom, click view logs. On the journal history screen, a list of posted transactions is displayed. Clicking on the column headers sorts the data. There is also the option to include additions and or include deletions as well to define a start and end date in the filter results. Scroll through the transactions to see whether any edits have been made. Double click the transaction to view the history. We have just completed the normal posting method. If you do not want to utilize the posting process, select live posting option in the accounting options setup. When you select the live posting option, all journal entries, whether automatically generated or manually entered under accounting live transactions, post immediately to the chart of accounts. For more information, visit accounting.drakesoftware.com.